Hi guys, Luna here and welcome to this Elden Ring update video. The Colosseum update is out now and I'm going over all the changes made to the game from the patch notes. The update is around 5GB on console and 1.6 on PC, so let's jump into it. First, three new Colosseums have been added to give you access to PvP combat. I made a video yesterday on how to reach all three arenas. But a new statue is also available, a statue of Marika in Round Table Hold, and that lets you quick access to any of the arenas as well. From the menu, you have different PvP settings. You have Duel, which is just 1v1 on the Colosseum. United Combat, combatants will be divided into two teams to fight in 10 battles with the ability to respawn. Each death and respawn grants points to the adversaries, offering victory to the team with the highest score. In Combat Ordeal, it's every tarnish for themselves. Combatants in this mode can also respawn until the timer hits zero, and the one with the most points will prevail as victor. In the settings, you can also choose to have Spirit Summons available as an option, and one of the only disappointing things about the arena so far that I've noticed is that once you defeat your opponent, there are no rewards for doing so, which I'm not too sure about. But the three arenas themselves look really cool on the inside. But again, it would be better if we could spectate other people dueling as well. After all, it is a Colosseum, so there are some pros and cons of the update. Lastly then guys, one more thing was added in terms of content, and that is five new hairstyles which you can check out in the cosmetics menu. On top of that then, there are a bunch of patch notes, and let's jump over and take a look at those. So they have reduced thrusting weapon counterattack damage, reduced guard efficiency when attacking with your shield, the poise damage of the following weapons has been reduced, so that is the straight sword, thrusting sword, heavy thrusting sword, curved sword, axes, spears, twin blade swords, and katanas. They've reduced the poise damage of the incantation bestial sling, reduced the power of carry and slicer, increased the speed and distance of some attacks, and reduced the recovery time for the following weapons, daggers, axes, hammers, and flails. Increased the speed of some attacks and reduced the recovery time for the following weapons, twin blade, and reaper, fist, and claw. Slightly increased the speed of crouching and rolling attacks of the Colossal Sword. Increased stagger damage of axe guard counters. Increased poise when attacking with two-handed hammers. Increased poise damage of claws. Weapon arts remain unchanged though. Increased poise value during the active part of the stamp, so the upward cut and sweep weapon art. Increased the poise damage of the weapon slash part of the transient moonlight weapon art and reduced the poise damage of the magic wave. Reduced the speed thrusting swords and heavy thrusting swords crouching attacks. Reduced the stagger caused by double-handed heavy thrusting sword jumping attacks. Reduced poise damage of hammers, great hammers, and colossal weapon weapon arts remain unchanged. Reduced the poise damage of the crag blade weapon art. Reduced hitbox duration of the flame portion of the flame strike weapon art. Reduced poise damage of the flame of the red mains weapon art. Reduced the time it takes to activate the guard part of the shield bash weapon art. Reduced poise damage of gravity bolt weapon art. And then we have some bug fixes as well. Fixed a bug that sometimes reduced preventing consumable items from being replenished when teleporting to a grace from the map. A bug where stamina would replenish when switching to a crouching position while running. Um, a bug where spell, incantation and item input actions were ignored while guarding against attacks. Fixed incorrect physical attack values of some attacks of the serpent hunter weapon. Fixed a bug that prevented the following up attack from occurring when the black sword incantation was active with a sacred seal in the left hand. There was a bug where the attack power of the right hand weapon was sometimes applied when casting the inescapable frenzy incantation with a two-handed sacred seal in the left hand, and that's been fixed. A bug that could cause multiple damage instances when certain spells and incantations were casted while jumping. A bug fix that caused weapon arts to be incorrectly used with specific combinations of weapons and weapon art. So guys, that is all of the changes made in today's Coliseum update to the 1.8 patch notes including all of the arenas and a bunch of fixes as well. Like and subscribe for more helpful guides and Elden Ring videos, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.